Former First Lady and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is in Austin tonight. Just more than an hour ago, she was at Book People signing copies of her new memoir entitled Hard Choices. This book focuses on the decisions she had to make during her time as Secretary of State. Some see her book tour as a test for a possible run for president in 2016. Earlier this week, she left her options wide open. I am thinking about all of the choices I face, um, and I'm trying not to get into the decision-making mode where I'm going pluses and minuses and the rest. I, I will make a decision, but I'm really... Clinton will speak at the Long Center at 7 o'clock tonight, and you can hear what she has to say on KXAN News at 9 and at 10 o'clock. Of course, Hillary Clinton made a run for president back in 2008. At this point, two and a half years before that election, she had not said whether she would run. Clinton did not announce her run for president at that time until January 20th of 2007, 654 days before the election. Her visit to Austin today comes much earlier than that. We are still 872 days from the next presidential election. If Clinton were to run, some Republicans who might run against her spent their day at the Faith and Freedom Forum in Washington speaking about a variety of issues. We need to hold teachers to the highest standards and reward the great ones and fire the bad ones. I say it must end. Yeah. No bill should ever pass that's not been read. Yeah. We're not going to win very many elections. If people don't think we care about them, if the average American doesn't think that we have an agenda and a message for them. The Republicans seem split on who they want to see in the White House in 2017. In the most recent CNN poll, Senator Rand Paul, who you just heard there, comes in first at 14 percent. But as you can see, nine other Republicans split the rest of the vote. On the Democratic side, another poll shows Hillary Clinton is a strong favorite with more than 60 percent. Vice President Joe Biden came in as a distant second place with just 8 percent.